What if you want to set your working location and you're moving around, you are going to be on vacation for a week or you're going to be working from a different location and it's not necessarily going to be repeating norm, but you do want to be able to set it for certain days or certain times. Can you show us the steps to turn on calendar work hours in the admin panel? So I'm here inside my Google Calendar and inside my personal settings inside Google Calendar, I can set my times that I work. So if I scroll down here, I'm going to find my working hours and my working location. Now, I personally travel quite a lot and I work from the road quite a lot as well. So I don't really have a fixed travel location, but I do set my travel location manually. I tend to only have scheduled meetings and work days on Tuesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays. And you can see here, I've specified my working hours that I'm available for the team and for meetings. I haven't chosen to specify a working location, but that's okay. That's uh, what works for me. Now, if you don't see this option available in your Google Workspace right now, well, you can actually set it up in the administrator panel to enable this for your team members. To open up our workspace admin panel, we're gonna to go to admin.google.com. And then usually finding a setting in the admin panel, the easiest thing to do is search. So I'm gonna search for calendar settings and maybe work hours. Let's see if I just put the name work in there. I'm gonna assume it's here in settings for calendar. Let's open that up. So uh, you can see here under sharing settings, which is up the top, nice and easy. There's a setting here to choose whether you allow users to set their working location. And there's even some prompts here to choose their working location. All you need to do is tick this box, set location, and that allows you to have your team members set their working location. Pretty straightforward. Tick the box there and then it's good to go. Then each one of your team members will be able to, and these policies take five or 10 minutes to uh, be deployed. Uh, but from there, each person will be able to go into their settings inside their Google Calendar and set this. Now, what if for some strange reason, you only want that to apply to a certain number of staff? Well, that's okay. So here, when I'm applying settings, it's gonna by default apply it right at the top level, right? Settings for IT Genius, it's gonna apply this right across the whole organization. Yet, if I choose to only apply that to a certain group of staff, well, then I would use one of our organizational units here. So I would first click on the organizational unit, and then from the organizational unit, I would then choose to switch on or switch off the setting. Pretty straightforward there. That's just how organizational units work inside our workspace. We've got some other videos on Chrome policy that cover that as well if you want to deploy certain settings just to certain people. From there, you're gonna get the setting appearing here. Now, what if you wanna set your working location and you're moving around, you are gonna be on vacation for a week or you're gonna be working from a different location and it's not necessarily gonna be repeating norm, but you do wanna be able to set it for certain days or certain times. Well, the easiest way to do that is actually to just go to your calendar and drag and drop over the days that you're gonna be working somewhere different and then release. And you can see here, this is how you access the out of office menu if you wanna set an out of office for multiple days, but you can also set your working location by this menu as well. And it's gonna update it just for those days that you've selected. You can choose between different office locations that are automatically selected. Otherwise, you can type in another location and literally choose any place in the world and you can add that location in there even if it's a kind of nondescript name like Outback. And so that's how I set my location. Now, anybody who opens up my calendar will be able to see where I'm working from. And that little prompt there means that, okay, great. My colleagues are gonna be able to see where I'm working from if that's important or useful to them. If you're a hybrid team and you've got some staff members working from home, some of your staff members are working from a co-working space or an office, some of your staff members are traveling while they're working, this is a really useful feature to know kind of where people are, where you're expecting them to be. And of course, if someone's got like a holiday set up or a flexible work type arrangement, this makes it easy for your colleagues to stay up to date. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this, Click the link below to get started.